All right, hello, buddy. Welcome back to another episode of Just Set. I'm playing Persona 4 Golden. Last episode, we saved Yukiko from the TV world, and uh, yeah, <laughs> today we're gonna just continue our usual life this time without having to Yo! deal with a really <laughs> annoying boss. <laughs> wow. Hey, hey, Yukiko told me that she'll be able to come to school again in two days. Oh yeah. I was really close to her dying. Okay. Oh man, I'm s I'm glad. I'm so happy. <laughs> Thanks to you, Chia. Come on, you know it's all because all three of us did our best. Actually, more like the three of us and one animal thingy. <laughs> yeah, Teddy did. Well, I guess Teddy does do quite a lot. Class of editor today. I'm waiting for you, Kurt, to recover. Yeah, I think whenever there's like no music and it's just rain, it means that it's gonna... That it's gonna happen. Let me go and save my game again. Because <laughs> I'm paranoid about saving my game. It's uh, Thursday, but it is raining, which means that I can do the thing, right? You gonna take a look? I think I can do music. Oh, I'm sorry, drama. It's not music. Uh, yes. It is Thursday and it is raining, which means that there's not gonna be no sports, but there is gonna be something else. Yep, there she is. I needed a sun persona for that. I do have a sun persona, I think. Uh, Afro man has nothing. Okay. I love that song so much. Um, am I going to spend time with her right now? How much money do I have? Quite a sizable amount of money. I think I will just spend time with hey. her though. <laughs> Fred Kuhn, that sounds so weird. <laughs> and I have a sun persona, so let's go okay. to the drama club. Let's do our best. And she looks happy. Right, Sugami, um, hi, drama club. You participated in the acting exercises. You thoroughly practiced expressing a variety of emotions. Your expression has increased. She's doing fundamentals all the time, gets boring. So let's try to do some some real uh, performing. <laughs> we'll hold an audition. Everyone, remember the line I'm about to say. After the audition, we'll decide our roles and finish it off with a five minute skit. Got it? Now pay attention. What crazes me is not the light of the moon, nor the golden sea, but merely the trickle of your tears. Give me a moment while I take a picture of this, because I don't trust this fucking game. There you go. Also, I got something else. Can I stop being annoying phone? Okay. You all got that? Well, I'm not gonna repeat it. Alright, we'll start with Fred. Come on up, uh, come on up here in front of everybody, show some emotion. <laughs> Don't worry, what? believe in yourself. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The line began. I knew it! I knew it. This is why I took a picture of it. I was also like answering a text in the middle of that, so I don't remember what was being said. So, what crazes me is not. Then it went. What crazes me is not the light of the moon. We're getting into it. You said the entire line with lots of emotion. Oh, I don't need to remember two parts. Okay, next person. Meitan, you want to try? We already know that you're going to be my main character. I'll do it. I'm confident that I can remember. Oh boy. What crazes me? Yumi appears to be a completely different person as she recites. It's not the light of the sea, nor the golden sea. But merely the trickle of your tears. Yumi's own eyes are full of tears. She has become the character. That was amazing. She's always so good, it's scary. If anyone thinks they can do a better job than me, please come on up. Pfft. Yumi, don't say it like that. <laughs> I agree. If only standing around flirting made, made you a better actor, huh? Oof! Wrecked. Hey, come on, we all remember the line, so might as well do it, right? I think watching others is a good experience too, don't you, Yumi? You're right, go ahead. Everyone recited the line, but Yumi was the best, hands down. Okay, we've unanimously decided that Yumi will be the protagonist. And she'll be, uh, opposite Fred, of course. I mean, it's either you or me, and what I'd rather do is direct. You must play Yumi's husband in a short skit. Uh, do you have your lights memorized? Are you ready to go? <laughs> Don't be so tense, this is just pa uh, practice. Practice? Yeah, sure. But I do want us to take it seriously, so give it a shot, okay? Oh, give it my all. Okay. Well, I'll lead you through it. Seems excited. 
Acting is fun, isn't it? When you're acting, it's like you get to take on the life of another person. Not just yourself. Not some Yumi Ozawa, but another life to li live. I don't need lights. I don't need costumes. All I need is a role to play. All I need is to not be me. Rufus. No, sorry, if I keep talking, you'll end up forgetting your own lines, huh? <laughs> Let's give it a whirl, darling. <laughs> this is gonna get awkward real quickly. You've started to attempt the role of husband. You feel that your relationship with Yumi has deepened a little. Yes! Here comes the sun, little darling. Nice. Alright, want to ad lib a kiss? Um. Mr. So Yumi's help you were able to complete the skits to the applause of the entire drama club. Hey. Yumi seems very happy. You went home. <laughs> Uh, is Dojima home? Because he's not going to be working on a case anymore, Welcome I think. Home. Nope, he's not home. Nice. <laughs> yes, freedom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. It's raining. <laughs> that is a fact. Rain has never been as scary as it is right now. Alright, let's see if we can uh, run into somebody. Oh, wait. Personas, right. I'll go to the shopping district because I want to work on some personas. Want to see if I can get some other, uh, some other arcana. <laughs> I saved inside the Dojima residence and then in the shopping street. Makes sense to me. All right, check compendium. Register personas. Yes, please. Right. Fuse personas. What can I do? So I'm level 14 right now. Let's see. Because I need uh, a chariot so I can get Elagor, which is gonna fuse my two best personas. That's a little bit shitty. Okay, um, yeah, Orobas is just as ridiculously good freaking persona, man. I can, of course, always summon him again. I have a lot of money right now, so. Uh, ba -da -ba. I definitely want to... Okay, so that's going to get rid of my Magician and my Sun Arcana uh, persona. Fuck it, let's do it. I think this is a good idea. So his only weakness is Light, I think that is. And maybe Darkness is the other one, I have no idea. And he's strong against... Ooh. So Poison Skewer and Agi. Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's do it. So, I can give you a couple of things. Uh, so you have Agi. Touch ice, you don't have a weakness to ice, so it doesn't really matter. Growth, don't care about that. Nullify stat bonus of, uh, on all foes. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Secunda, um, increases allies' defense. Hmm. I definitely like Hysterical Slap. That's one of my favorite ones. Getting rid of stat bonuses to the enemy is also really good. Uh, dodge ice, don't care. Dispel, panic, fear, and rage. I don't think... Wait, I think this is the only one that has that, so maybe yes. Let's do it. Is this persona acceptable? Yes. Eligor. With the power of the chariot, uh, this chariot social link, I will get him to level up also. And he also gets Moragi, which might be an AOE fire attack. Which seems like a really good thing. Ba -da -ba. Ba -bum -bum -bum. It's so good. It is so ridiculous to get. You know what? Oh no, wait. Uh, well. Hmm. Yes. Let's go and do this. Because I want to get a robe. A robust again. Um, what do I want you to have? So, is this the one which uh, decreases? No, this one over here. Yes, I want to give you this. I want to give you a uh, Skullcracker. Ooh. Skullcracker is pretty dang good. I want to give you a Zeo. And then maybe Skullcracker. Yes, let's do it. I did register the personas when I, when I entered this place, so I think it's fine. I really like, uh, Orobas. <laughs> ah! There we go. Alright. 
I also just want to get these for my um, Arcana things. So I also wanted to get this one with. Oh no, this is Allegor. Oof. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, I can get an Aeon one eventually. Ooh. That's interesting. I definitely want to get another strength one though. So Fornius. Um, I guess that works for me. Weak against wind, strong against ice. Poof is secure and evil touch. Let's do it. So you have cleave. Um, I do like skewer. Poisma. Hmm. Not sure how useful poison is. So I think I'm. You know, nah, fuck it. I'll go in. Or evil touch. I'm still sphere. I think I'll get evil touch. I like that. There we go. Zoom in on his face. And be a little bit scared about it. There we go. Right. So that leaves me with Sylph, <laughs> which is, I don't think, or Archangel, but I don't really care too much about these. Um, let's go and check the compendium. Register. No, I'm not going to register personas. Oh boy. So, I have a Robus right now. It's my Magician one. I have a Sun one. I have Eligor as my Chariot. Oh, Slime is a Chariot. Ah, I see. Mm. I have Valkyrie for my Strength. Do I have... You know, I, I guess I can just go and check it. I can just leave and come back. I just need to see if I have the other thing. Let's see, because now I have my uh, chariot, magician, and strength, but I don't have. Uh, uh, no. Okay, I need my kusif again. Right. Uh, companion. Few companion. Uh, by Arcana. Let's go down to the sun. There you go. It's not too expensive. Let's do it. I just need it for the same persona. Persona shopper. <laughs> I've never done that before, so. There we go. Finally. <laughs> That's good. Right. Let's go and save my game. And let us go and check out to see if there's anybody on the road with whom I can spend time with. I don't think so since it's raining, but you know. I could be surprised. No, nothing. Okay. I think I'm gonna go back home and study. I did read the book about studying, so... Right? It's either that or I go and do the challenge thing. But I think I'll just go and study. I need more knowledge. Right. Uh, I'm not gonna save again, because that would be stupid. <laughs> Well, now that I'm thinking about it, Dojima isn't home. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be able to do this, these things outside. So fuck it. <laughs> Just like running back and forth. Uh, let's go back to the shopping district. This guy's also open right now, which is interesting. Look at the time, I was passionate about my art, lost track of the world around me. Keep it right time, damn it, I'll make an exception and give you a discount tonight. Oh! Hello, let me go and sell my materials. Poison flower. Right, the poison kunai. Something else for shield boots. And Nanman Goku. Hello. That's expensive as fuck. <laughs> Well, what did I expect, really? Ah, oh, yeah, there's nothing over there. So, shield boots. Ba, ba, ba. Wow. That's like half of my money, though. Wow. Okay, I think I'll hold on to this. Like, I'll wait for a bit. These things are not that good. Okay. Well. Wait. The smoky quartz. This crystal it will be five stone. I don't think I'm gonna need these things. Right? 
Yeah, sure. Might come to regret this decision later on, but I don't care. Ba, ba, ba. I think I'll wait for the moment. I'll just hold on to my wiki again. I can always go... Like, this This shop is open in... Uh, this shop is open almost every single day, so... I don't really need to care too much about that. Right, let's go into this place. If it's open, in any case. Due to the popularity of the rainy day mega beef, we have run out of ingredients. It seems to have... Hmm... <laughs> I am doing a lot of things. And most of them are wasting time. No matter though. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. There's no problem. Alright. Let's go and do some studying. Yes. I decided to study. Your knowledge has increased. As you studied, you read a number of dictionary entries that piqued your interest. Your knowledge has increased. Since you had completely read uh, the expert study methods, you were able to study more efficiently. Your knowledge has increased again. Yes. My super knowledge. Don't you know how knowledgeable I am? Meh. <laughs> right. This is a show day, so you have to the, the day off from school. All I can do is wait for Yukiko's recovery. What should we do today? That totally depends on who's going to call me. Nobody? Ooh. I have freedom now? Nani? Is there anything in the fridge? Nothing catch right then. I'm gonna save again because I'm absolutely You know, let me go and save over here. Because now I'm done with uh, the boss battle. If you leave, you cannot return here until evening. No. Is there something I can do over here? I can watch the house. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. I will leave. I would leave and look for my friends. Or look for something to do, really. Yes. Uh, I guess I can go and run around the floodplain to see if there's anybody over here. I can also technically fish, but I have no idea how... How this works. It could also be that I can buy... Um, that, like, when I buy the book about fishing... That might actually give me, like, the ability to talk to the old man who is then going to teach me from things. <laughs> I don't know, it must be tough. Ever, if you ever uh, have trouble with cooking or anything, uh, come to my place, you know, the Daisuke? I've heard of it. By all means, come and indulge yourself. Okay. So there's nothing to do over here. Yes. I will leave. I can't stand this place. Let me go over to Jeunesse for a moment, see if I can buy some more of these salt tomatoes. Uh, return Daikon. No, it's sure. Let's, let's go and grab it. Move to Deutschlands, of course I know your neighbors. Uh, <laughs> Still gotta continue talking to some people, because otherwise I will never get the information that I need. Let's go to the shopping street. So you're the dude who probably that channel when it rains, television, I wonder if it's true or not. Maybe I should try it myself. <laughs> Is the bookstore open? Ooh. I guess I'll go and buy the fishing thing. There we go. Let's see, Shiroki store. Or Shiroku. Oh yeah, on rainy days you have a 20% discount. <clears throat> That's actually really good to know. I think it might be an idea for me to go and buy five more medicine. Again. Just to have these medicine on me. Just in case. If stuff goes really bad. Right, so I can do the challenge over here. Or another challenge with the, the thing. And aside from that, there's just nobody. You know what, I think... I want to go and check out to see if there's anybody at school. I don't think so, but... <clears throat> Just want to make sure. No. <laughs> the gate's closed. School is closed. I know. Well, I saw that, but... No, well. Let's go and do the challenge thing. Right. Uh, let's go over to the north side. North. 
far, far to the north. All right, rainy day challenge: three thousand yen mega beef bowl. Raise several characteristics. Let's do it, man. Three thousand yen, but a lot of things to raise, and I also don't have anything else to do, so why not? You still can't see the rice. You begin to suspect that your bowl is a portal to the meat dimension. <laughs> the amount of meat contained within this bowl is truly staggering. In order to finish this bowl, you must have understanding of your limits, uh, knowledge to control your pace, courage to face this unrelenting tide of beef, and a diligence to persevere against its colossal challenge. All these traits are necessary to monster the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge. You're unable to finish your meal in your current state, but it will increase my stats. You tried your best to finish the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge, <laughs> and your personality has grown tremendously. Knowledge has increased, courage has increased, diligence, and that's it. Ah, yeah, too bad, mister. That'd be 3000 yen. Come back soon, thank you. After finishing a meal, you went home. The evening. Due to the weekend rainfall, clear skies seem unlikely in the area. A thick fog is expected to set in tonight and remain wow. until tomorrow yeah. morning. The game With wasn't kidding. Concentration in the, Inaba area. the game was not kidding. The game Anyone was like, hey. planning to go out tonight should take care. Now for our hourly weather breakdown. Yeah, the game was definitely like, hey, you need to go and do this shit now or your friend is gonna die. More fog, huh? There's been a lot of that lately. Hopefully it's not a sign of more trouble. Uh, uh, uh. What did I say about changing the channel without asking? Have a great day, even during Golden Week, at your local Juness. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. Dad, they're going to be open during Golden Week. <laughs> I heard. Do you want to go somewhere during the long holiday? <laughs> we can go somewhere? How about it? Got any plans yet? Hmm. I don't have any plans. <laughs> but I'm not sure what this is going to do for me. Let me think about it. Come on, let's all go somewhere together. Juness. <laughs> I'm going to skip that. <laughs> you sure you want to go to Juness? We can go there anytime. Come on, girl. Time for bed. It's late. All right. Every day. Nope. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want to listen to that again. As much as I appreciate this cute girl, I don't. Jeunesse, huh? She's satisfied to go somewhere that's so close. Well, I'm not going to force you, but if you don't have any plans, try to keep it in mind. Any stuff? Damn it. <laughs> Damn! Foiled again. I guess I'll save on this thing again. My save slots are so disorganized. Oh. Oh. I thought I could do something, but nope. I'm just going to be watching the Midnight Channel. And that's it. Cool. It's midnight. The fog has set in. Also, from this point onward, the game is going to be completely blind for me. No, it's appearing in the Midnight Challenge. Since Tsukiko has been rescued, it seems the killer has, uh, was thwarted this time. Meanwhile, at the Fox Shadow Shopping District. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Nice cutscene, bruh. There she is. <laughs> oh, good morning. Feeling better? Yeah, I'll be coming to school again, so that'll be nice. I caused everyone some real trouble. I'm sorry. No. Sorry isn't quite right. But what I mean to say is, thank you. Your ghost seems more cheerful than before. My mother's back to work already. The maids are being really supportive. 
And I think things are going even smoother than before. I wonder if I was trying too hard. I may have been too caught up in the idea that I had to do everything myself. Ever since the incident, I feel like I can think about these things more calmly. But it's still kind of embarrassing. You guys saw everything, mm. even the things I didn't want to admit. <laughs> I guess that's, I would say that that's only one part of you. I'd like to believe that. Yukiko! Oh, it's Tie. Well, I'll talk to you later. Yukiko has come back as energetic as ever. It's a good thing you were able to, re to save her, otherwise she would have been dead. You would have had to horrifyingly watch her die. I have no idea if that happens, and if that does, that's terrifying. Huh, you could go sound his back. That's good. I'm glad the only cutie in the class was able to return. Why? Wouldn't you guys agree? Whoops, I mean, all of you are cute. Uh, no, really. Uh, please, d don't tell your parents that I said that, will you? I don't want to get in trouble. Um, anyway, I have an interesting topic for you today. Close your books and take a look at the handouts. Sounds like a good time to pick up on the city boy. <laughs> Just pick on the city boy, fuck you. Alright, time to make a fool of myself. What is the greatest canyon in the solar system? The greatest canyon. The quick. <laughs> Valles Marineris or Kurobe Canyon. I think Valles Marineris seems like a name for a space thing. Wow, you really are from the city. Well, I guess that doesn't have anything to do with it. <laughs> the Valles Marineris on Mars is ten times larger than the Grand Canyon. Mars also hosts Olympic Mons, the largest mountain in the solar system. Both the highest mountain and the greatest canyons are on Mars. Isn't that useful information? Since you got me started on canyons, I'm gonna cover some material on their characteristics. You gave the correct answer. Your knowledge has increased. How much knowledge increasing do I need to do to get like an actual big increase in knowledge? Sorry to keep you waiting. The soap was yours, right, Chie? Thanks! Oh, that smells so good! These instant noodles are just the thing to help me through club. How much longer do I have to wait on this? It still needs a few minutes. So why are we here? Oh yeah, we were gonna ask Yukiko what happened. Yukiko-san, I hate to bring up stuff you'd rather not think about, but I need to ask you again. Did you recall anything about when you got kidnapped? No. I thought I might remember something if I let it sit for a while, but as time passes, it only gets hazier. I think... The doorbell rang at the entrance, and someone called for me. But when I woke up after that, I was already in the castle. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. But does this mean her visitor is the culprit? I don't know. If it's true, then that's one daring criminal. What kind of killer would ring the doorbell? <laughs> the police are probably looking for witnesses, but I don't think we can expect much from them. <laughs> As if the culprit wore bright yellow clothes at the scene of the crime. I wonder why whoever it is would do stuff like this. We won't know until we confront them ourselves, but we can be sure of one thing. It's no coincidence that people keep ending up in that place. Someone on our side is definitely kidnapping them and throwing them into the TV. It's murder, all right. Oh yeah, we never told you. This guy and me are gonna catch the culprit ourselves. The police are out of their league on this case, but we got personas. <laughs> never fear, we'll get him. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not really what I would say, but... I'm helping out too! I can't believe someone would throw people into a place like that. I'm gonna sock whoever's doing this. Chie. Let me help too. I want to know why this is happening. Especially if someone hates me so much they want to kill me. I don't want to run away from myself anymore. Uh -huh. All right, then let's all work together and catch this asshole. Agreed. 
You can go and join the group. She'll definitely be a strong asset <laughs> in solving the case. Uh, I just made a very childish joke. Rank up, investigation team. Oh, I see. I was thinking like, wait, what? <laughs> All right, nice. But how are we going to find them? We don't have a single lead yet. I'm the third one to be targeted so far, but I have a feeling this isn't the end of it. If we had an idea of who might be targeted next, wouldn't we have an advantage over the killer? So we'll outsmart them, huh? Yeah, that might work. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out what ties the victims together. First, there was that announcer, Mayumi Yamano. Second, was Saki Konishi, senpai. Third, was Yukiko Amagi. What do they all have in common? Hmm. Well, they all live in Inaba, yeah. <laughs> Such from that. Plus, they're all women. How dare he target females? <laughs> now that's unforgivable. The culprit's got to be some kind of pervert. <laughs> also, what about this? The second and third victims had some sort of connection to the first one. Hey, that's right. Yukiko and Saki Senpai both had connections to that announcer. That's true. Then. Does that mean females connected in some way to Miss Yamano's case are being targeted? I think that's a safe assumption for now. There's another angle we can take too. If another person disappears... You think they'd be on that midnight channel? That happened right before Yukiko was kidnapped too! Yeah, it's hard to tell who at first, but what's important is, it's happened before the victims disappeared. Kinda like a ransom note. We still don't know why that happens, but we'll have to rely on it for now. The next time it rains. It seems that the Midnight Channel is the only way of predicting who will be kidnapped next. You must remember to watch it on the next rainy night. By the way, aren't those done by now? Whoa, that's right! Chow time! Hey, could I try just a little bit of that? Just one tiny bite. Hands up the soba, pal. Go get your own if you want some. <laughs> okay. Just one bite. Got it. This is the aroma from the Udon bowl. It's drifting your way. Do you want to try some? I'm going to try a bite. I'm not going to be an asshole about it. It's so good! The aroma, the flavor, and the texture all combined. This is perfect! It's too delicious to stop eating. Oh no! <laughs> ah! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I like the fact that there's just like the models sped up. I love that. Uh. <laughs> Oh boy. My fried tofu. I was trying not to be an asshole, but I guess the game decided to. I hope you guys understand what this means. We die? <laughs> we get sentenced to death? Oh, wait, 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 stop! I'm sorry! I'll buy you steak! It'll be on me! You hear me? The very best! Steak? My tofu. <laughs> Come on, Yukiko! There's steak in it for us now! <laughs> we can eat instant noodles anytime we want, right? Well, as long as it isn't too fatty. Okay, we've reached the verdict. You are hereby sentenced to buying us steak. Better than a death sentence. What wouldn't be too fatty? Filet? Ooh, filet sounds nice and expensive. It goes on... Actually, no, wait, I also did it. Mm. Filet, filet, filet. <laughs> hey, you've got a pony up too. You're no, just as much to blame. I, t I, why? I was trying to avoid it also. <laughs> oh, okay then. Man, talk about great timing. We just started serving grilled steak today. <laughs> We're doing our part to spread this town's specialty dish. Plus, we've already got an excellent grill. That's just the yakisoba griddle. Oh well. Steak is steak. It's far from a fillet steak, though. Yukiko, are you okay with this? It's not too heavy for you. I'll eat it. I'm still mad. 
So back on topic, I wonder what kind of person the culprit is. If you focus just on the announcer's case, it seems like a revenge thing. Maybe it was her lover's wife. But Masuzu Hiragi had a solid alibi, didn't she? And it seemed like she was already separated from her husband. Really? You know an awful lot about this. Okay, what about the second case? Saki-senpai. She found the announcer's body. Assuming the same person killed them both, then why target senpai? Hmm. Probably to set her up, really. Yeah, I think so too. She must have seen something. Maybe she found a clue or something about the culprit. But the killer just threw the announcer into a TV, right? I don't think he would have left evidence the police, much less a high school student, would catch. Yeah, exactly. Man, I thought the countryside would be a snooze. But it's proving to be a lot more exciting than I thought. Oh, they updated the menu. <laughs> I like this guy. Huh? Isn't he that detective? Hey, you were at Dojima-san's. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, wait. Hey, this is great timing after all. Dojima-san said that he'll be leaving work on schedule tonight. Could you pass that on to Nanaka-chan? Yo, I'm Adachi, Dojima-san's gopher. Uh, I mean, his partner. Are you this busy every day? Huh? Oh, well, the public seems to be getting a charge out of these cases, but we can't leave it at that. Sorry to butt in, but could it be that the killer targeted Saki-senpai in order to silence her? Um, you sure get to the heart of the matter. Yikes. <laughs> of course, we're also thinking along those lines. She was killed right after the announcer's body was found. If the killer was trying to silence her, there might have been something at the scene only she would have understood. Which would mean that the culprit may be someone close to Miss Konishi. Nothing like that points to Misuzu Hiragi, so... Oh, I might have stumbled across something here. Wait, are you listening to all that? Crap, me and my big mouth. Uh, don't tell anyone I said any of that, or Dojima-san will flay me alive. <clears throat> Relax, kids. The police are on the job. See ya. You were right, Yosuke. The police are totally useless. <laughs> ah! My steak's getting cold! Could you shut up about the steak for five seconds? <laughs> you waited for the two to finish eating and then decided to go into the TV world. Really? Oh yeah, what's her face still need? Ayukiko still needs uh, glasses. My glasses! Wow, <sighs> this really is inside the TV. It's Teddy, and it wasn't a dream. Are you feeling better, Yuki-chan? I did what you said. I've been a good bear. Oh, I see. Good boy. <laughs> Well, this bears part of the reason we want to find the culprit. I'm one of the group now, too. Let's work together, okay? Yep. I was thinking the same thing. That's why I got these ready for you, Yuki-chan. Oh, so these are what everyone's <laughs> wearing. Thank you, Teddy. You're right. It's just as if the fog doesn't exist. Hey, tell me something. How come you have so many pairs of glasses? Excellent question. Guess what? I'm the one who makes them. I've lived here for a long time, so I came up with some ways to be comfortable here. I see. But don't you need a pair? Ooh, good point. Another great question. Listen to this. My eyes themselves are lenses. You didn't know? Of course not. <laughs> Why are you being so mean? You act like you're not interested. I'm a really dexterous bear. See how smoothly my fingers move? Teddy's delicately moving his fingertips. What am I even looking at? Fingertips? I don't see fingertips, but sure. Ow! <laughs> hmm? You dropped something. Oh, that's a pair I kind of screwed up on. Ooh. <laughs> Y Yukiko? <laughs> How do I look? 
<laughs> Looks great. Do you like that one, Yuki-chan? I want to wear this one. It's even got a nose guard. Oh, no you don't. <laughs> How very unfortunate. That pair doesn't have the right lenses in. Guess I should have made an actual pair. Ah, uh, too bad. Here, Chie, your turn. <sighs> Man. All right, fine. To this. <laughs> Yukiko-san? Hello? There goes one of Yukiko's laughing fits. I never thought she'd do it when someone besides me was around. These stupid glasses are useless for investigating. I mean, what the hell's this nose for anyway? Nice work, huh? That's what happens when you guys leave me here alone and I get bored. Well, I'm glad that she's in high spirits again, I guess. Chie, the look on your face. <laughs> it was so funny. I can't. S <laughs> oh, oh, my stomach. <laughs> I used to know somebody who, like, once she started laughing, there was no stopping. And it was pretty. It was pretty insane because, like, it was very difficult to make her stop laughing. It was interesting. Can I save my game, <laughs> please? The fourth and the fifth. I think I might be able to get the fourth and the fifth off. Hmm. The fifth? <gasps> really? Oh no, it's just new books on the fifth. Okay. <laughs> it's like crap. I remember the fifth. Really? What? You don't believe me? It's always cancelled. N not every year. I know you wanted to go to Jeunesse, but I wouldn't mind going a little further out of the neighborhood. Really? <laughs> Can we go on a trip? Uh, well, it might be okay to go on a trip once in a while. I'm sure it'll be crowded everywhere, though. Yay! <laughs> We're going on a trip! Hmm. All right, all right. Then we need to think of some place to go. How about you? You want to come along with us? <sighs> yeah, sure. I'm not going to be an asshole. Yeah, let's all go together. <laughs> Looks like Nanako wants us all to go. That might actually give me a social link with these people. We're going on outing with the Dojimas during the long holiday. Let's bring back lunches. Hmm? Yeah, good idea. We're always eating side dishes for dinner. But uh, I can't cook. And Nanako's not good enough yet to make them by herself. Hmm. Well, it'll work out. That's what we got this guy for, huh, Nanako? <laughs> Yay! Box lunches! Nanako is pleased. You've been selected to pack the family's box lunches. Joy. <laughs> Alright, people, that's good a bit. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Just I was playing Persona 4 Golden. And next episode, we're gonna go and deal with. some free time! <laughs> Less, uh, less dungeon crawling, more free time. Goodbye.